Welcome back to Let's Play Assassin's Creed Liberation. I'm Burning Dog Face, and you're welcome. Where did I leave that boat? We were checking out the, uh, the bayou in search of collectibles. Oh, that's right. Came from this direction. Tell you what, this time to make things interesting, let's jump cut ahead until I find something. And waboosh. I don't know if this counts, but uh, I found a fence out here in the swamp. I wonder if this is where Swamp Thing lives. Man, if Swamp Thing was actually in this game, that would be the greatest fucking easter egg ever. One of the things I liked about, uh, AC3, well, still like, I'm not done, uh, sorry, AC4, uh, is, uh, there were edits in that one, too. You know, you're a genetic researcher, who's, uh, examining the life of, uh... For fuck's sake. He's examining the life of Edward Kenway. To see if it would be a suitable video game. And there's all these notes in the database from other researchers in your team. Most of whom you never meet in person, of course. And, uh... It's things like someone asking, uh... Like, oh, maybe we should replace uh, Edward's voice. You know, get a nice uh, British accent in there instead. I believe he's Welsh, for the record. Uh... But some of it is, uh, they're already making edits to, uh, the game to, uh, better suit their purposes. What do you say we give this pocket pistol ye a try? Hello, gentlemen. Oh, 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 oh. oh wait. Oh. Hey, you're not alive anymore. How about that? What's this? I was kind of kidding about the treasure, but okay. Yeah, definitely I was supposed to do this ages ago. No, it hasn't. That chest up there was already there. I know that for a fact. Huh. 
Oh, well, I need to jump cut again anyway. Get out of that boat. I'm stubbornly determined to use this one. See, it says interact, but it doesn't actually work unless you're standing in it, so I don't know why they do that. Alright. Sorry about that. Been about 15 minutes. Where the hell was I? Going over there, apparently. Get this island over here on the map. Assassin's Creed map exploration. The rate at which you uncover the uh, fog of war by running around has always been shit. So the thing they seem to have failed to have taken into account in AC3 and uh, this one is that that's because oh, you know, they did that to encourage you to synchronize with the viewpoints. Unless you uh, travel directly over it, pretty much, you don't have a spot on the map. Because it's like I said in an earlier episode, when you use a viewpoint, you know, if you get all the viewpoints in a city, you will basically have the entire map uncovered. Let's go right to the edge. Shit. I like that it didn't even make some noise, as if the, uh, the boundary was a solid wall that your canoe is bumping into. Ah, don't be an asshole. Where did it dips down here? I went back over here, and uh... That's about where the boundary wall is. I guess I just never bothered to check if it was uh, regularly shaped or not. Is there a way to dismiss that tutorial? Stupid fireflies, or whatever those are, I keep thinking there's gonna be like the sparkles that appear over a uh, interactive thing. I don't know that I ever got into my reasons for wanting to play this game. It's getting a lozenge. The, uh... The thing was, uh... I love this franchise. Big fan of it. And I felt, ever since I started doing LPs, well, more specifically, ever since I did uh, the saboteur so successfully and determined that yes I could uh, do open world games. I've uh, wanted to do an Assassin's Creed game. But the storyline and all the main titles is really intricately tied together. So I was worried that I would either uh,
know, have to you know, start, start over from the first game again, and uh, probably take me, you know, a couple years at that rate to uh, catch up with where I left off. Oh, all right, let's swing back around to make sure there were nothing on those islands. Or, uh, I could jump into the latest game and alienate uh, all my viewers who weren't up to date on the franchise. Must be a smuggling post. Ah, yes. It's the smuggling post, in fact. Oh, right! I don't have to be so damned, uh... What's the word? Thorough. Because the symbols just appear like that. Ah, here we are. And then this game comes along, and they say that the storyline is very deliberately unrelated to the Desmond stuff. Oh, hey! I already got that nest. Fuck it, live and let live, right? I mean, it wouldn't, but whatever. Choose to be different. Ah! Uh. I like that there are wanted posters on the rundown abandoned house used by the uh, smugglers. Whoa, purple. The fuck? Oh, the wanted posters are purple. That's weird. I've never seen a purple glow before. Oop. You saw nothing! So imagine my surprise, as I think about these reasons for wanting to play the game, when I realize, much to my embarrassment, that this per one in particular, this, this one feels more like you need to already know the Assassin's Creed franchise than any other game I've played in the series. The fact of the matter is, uh, they don't do a very good job of explaining uh, the mechanics to you. Like, the tutorials come up and stuff, but they feel more like reminders. Must be really cold. What? Hey guys, this episode ran really, really long.
So I'm going to cut it off here and uh, post it in two parts. I'm Burning Dogface, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Assassin's Creed Liberation.